Are calls for a new strategy to fight Mexican drug violence by treating the cartels as criminal insurgents, maybe like the Taliban. Some of the worst violence taking place along the border threatens the lives of American citizens, so should we do that? Our next guest says in order to fight the battle, it's going to take a counterinsurgency strategy. Gary Shipman is managing director of the Chertoff Group and a former senior executive at the Department of Homeland Security. So you're thinking that we need something like a general Petraeus approach to, to going after these cartels? John, we, we clearly need an all-of-government approach. The key question is, is, you know, what is the nature of violence taking place in Mexico? Is it random violence related to small-time criminals, or is it big-time organized violence with a broader political purpose? And I think it's clearly big business taking place among the drug cartels in Mexico, and the violence has a purpose, and there's a grand strategic purpose, and we need to treat it that way. Well, like the Taliban in Afghanistan, they are trying to win the hearts and minds of their local Afghan populations. You say that the drug cartels are essentially trying to do the same thing in Mexico? I thought they were just trying to sell drugs. Sure, they're trying to sell drugs, but you got to understand they're big business, and it's complex. It, it's difficult to run a big business. You need workforce, you need employees, you need to raise money, you need a, a base of operations. And if it's an illicit business, people are going to try to to crack down on you and put you out of business. And so what you try to do is you try to gain political control of that space. So that's what's happening across large parts of Mexico today. You have these organized drug traffickers who actually control the political space. They provide, uh, they, they conduct acts of violence and murder, but they also provide public goods and, and public benefits to the population to try to win them over. It's absolutely hearts and minds. Well, we have caucus third war here at Fox, and I guess you're saying that's an apt description. Can the U.S. do anything about it? I mean, are you saying that we essentially uh, attack it as a military problem the way we have in places like Afghanistan? No, it's, it's, a, it's a rule of law problem, and it really takes an all-of-government approach. So Chairman Mack and the, uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee called attention to this by first saying things have changed since 2007, since we put together the Merida Initiative, which is the U.S. policy towards Mexico, and it needs to be evolved and, and updated. We need, to, we need to think across DOD lessons learned, but it's, it's primarily a law enforcement, rule of law, diplomacy. All of the, all of the elements of U.S. power need to, to, to come together here to support the Mexican government in bringing about legal reform and, and rule of law programs inside of Mexico. There are so many parallels, it seems, to places like Afghanistan where some of the good guys get shot dead in the streets by the insurgents. Same kind of thing happens in Mexico. Yeah, absolutely. There are a lot of there are a lot of wonderful, brave people fighting the good fight in Mexico every day. But there's also a lot of corruption. We need to be very careful about who we work with. But we have to remember that President Calderon has really taken the fight to the criminals. He deserves credit for that. And there are a lot of great people who have, who have put their lives on the line. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been killed in the line of duty because they're willing to stand up to these very complex and or well organized uh, uh, organizations. Gary Schiffman has experience in the U.S. military as well as Customs and Border Patrol and Homeland Security. Interesting arguments. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, John. President Calderon's up for election next year.